Alrighty, everybody, how's it going? My name is Logan ISL, and today we are um, going to be playing the brand new area release that just came out as of this recording, like 40, 50 minutes ago, Paradise Atoll. So this is a sub-realm, a permanent sub-realm for Zone 1 that was originally supposed to be a um, summer event. However, it was changed to have 12 uh, steeples and towers and provide us with a uh, permanent sub-realm. That is going to be helpful for progression, so I'm excited to go in. I don't know anything more than the pictures that were shown to the public. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Alright, so here we are in the ring select. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, this looks cursed. <laughs> this looks really weird. I am not used to seeing it at this angle. To be honest, it looks cooler, but... God, after seeing the rings look like this for like two years, that is gonna be something hard for me to get used to. But it seems like the other uh, zones have not been affected, so. Alright, let's go ahead and try to find where the heck you need to go in order to get to the uh, sub realm. Because I have no idea where it is. Oh, there's literally a plane. That couldn't have been more obvious! This obby looks like they also nerfed it, so... Paris Atoll, just like Forgotten Ridge, is literally wide open. Not too shocking, to be honest, but... Oh, and it literally just teleports you in. There's literally no animation. Well, that's a little boring, not gonna lie. Alright. Here we are! Wow. Welcome to Paradise Atoll, and... The lighting here is beautiful. Wow. Oh, okay, we need to look at that in a little bit. Wow, man. People are complaining about lag, and in my Discord server, someone was also saying that stuff was broken. So very well, we could uh, not get very far, so. <laughs> we'll see how this goes, but nonetheless, wow, look at this. I don't even know what some of the steeple names are, so... <laughs> Like, most of them, I don't even know what the frames look like. Like, I have no idea. Is that S-O-M-M? I, I don't know. Mystical Marine or whatever it's called? Wow. This looks very beautiful. Hmm. What's this? These look like pill cans. I don't know. They kind of do look like they house pills or something. I don't know what that's about. So it looks like this is like the spawn island in the middle here. So I assume we need to... Here's the map. Okay. Remember this from the Paradise Atoll predictions? Steeples and towers seem to be surrounding various areas on and around the archipelago. Yeah! Okay! So my prediction was right. That stuff is scattered all around the place. That's really cool! Okay! Dear Diary, I've been thinking about the island and myself lately. I've been in solitude away from the outside world. If any traveler passes through these wretched isles like I did many moons ago, I leave them with my trusty raft, the only thing that survived from that fateful day. What?! So... Island Greenhouse has the wind room. Deep Caverns has practiced on me in psychological and safe towers, but that's not what we're looking for. I want to go towards the- well, let's go ahead and f set sail, I guess. So, I have no idea where I should go to try and find, like, Mystical Marine. Oh, I see a lot of steeples over there. Let's head over there. Easiest way to drive this raft is definitely with shift lock. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay! The raft's a little buggy. Oh jeez. Come on. Alright. Here we are. Intermediate steeples. Well, here's the beginner ones. Nice. So we have Mystical Moraine, Aquatic Rallies. What? I don't even know anything about that. An Abyssal Upturn. 
All right, let's let's go ahead and head into Mystical Mystic Marine. Okay, this looks really cool. But considering this is easy difficulty, probably not gonna um commentate too much. But <clears throat> really shocked at the quality of this so far. This is definitely one of the best looking areas. It's a shame that there really isn't much difficult stuff around. Wow, that what? Whoa! This looks really cool. Needless to say, I'm very, very impressed. Okay, I pressed that button, but the thing... I guess I can... Okay. Well, that makes a little more sense now. If this sets the precedent for what the future areas are going to look like, or the future steeples and towers are going to look like, I'm going to be having a blast. Like I said, it's a shame that they're really isn't much difficult stuff here. Like, uh, there's nothing that I can have, like, an actual grind with. So because of that, I'm actually setting myself on to do a challenge where I try to sight read everything, not use any guys at all, and try to completely figure it out myself, which should be fun. I am just shocked at the quality of this steeple. What? I am in awe of the detail of this. Like, I have never seen something in JTO that has looked this good. Is that the end? Nope, we still got a little bit to go. Huh? Felt like I got launched. Wait, do you move these? Ah! So I gotta move these around. This is wonky. Okay. That's a very interesting way. A very interesting twist on that. What? Did I beat it? No, I have to do this other challenge. 20 seconds. Oh! Look at the button itself! Like, the font difference on that, like, the different font on that button makes it look so much better. I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> like, wow. And this game doesn't have, this doesn't have the camera fix. That's something I saw. Awesome! That part's actually kind of difficult, but fortunately it's over or not. Okay, that should be uh, Mystical Marine down. Yes, it is. Oh! Oh! Oh, I did a handstand. Well, here's the wind room. And... I am pretty impressed with this. Wow, man. <whistles> this is- this area is beautiful! I am just bewildered. Alright, let's read the sign. Hey, good job on beating one of these steeples or towers here. This Sobrome has mostly summer tropical themed frames and designed for the steeples and towers. Feel free to explore around this small area and take in the view of the Sobrome around you before going back to trying to beat the rest of the steeples and towers. If you're able to beat anything in this Sobrome, you'll be awarded an item for your efforts. Good luck. Oh, everything. I literally read that as anything. Oh my god, dude. Holy crap, there's a rain- What?! I didn't realize that! Alright, we're gonna be here for an hour if I keep going on about the design of this area, because it is awesome. So next thing is Steeple of Among Us. I regret saying that. Alright, so next is Steeple of Abyssal Upturn. Can you follow setting requ- What?! WHAT?! Uh, okay, I guess. Uh, we'll figure out what that's about. What the heck? What? 
What? What is this? You've got to be joking. I am so... What am I supposed to do? This is nothing like I have ever played in my three years being around in this game. I am so confused. In a good way. I guess I don't... Oh! Okay, I'm an idiot. Whoa! Okay. One thing I do want to critique this steeple for is I am... What the... The camera fix is going to get me. That I really am not a... He elevator falling platforms? Really? Is it's very difficult to understand what I'm supposed to do sometimes. What? See, you think you're supposed to land on this. But then there's like a hard to see arrow that tells you no. Oh, you're supposed to avoid those. Spawn. Okay, I guess I go back now. What? Oh. Oh. Yeah, this steeple is really confusing and I don't- What the hell?! I haven't even passed floor one of this, I don't think, because I am just failing. Because I'm not able to understand what I'm fully am supposed to do. Which... See what I mean? I- I always think that's a wall. It's a slope. Oh, come on! I've been here for four minutes, and I don't think I've made it to floor two yet, because I'm just in confusion. What?! Yeah, I don't think- th I think that moving platform is bugged, because it shifts to the side a little bit. Okay, the area did just release, so... I wouldn't be shocked either if we get bonged during our visit here. It's very likely we're gonna get bonged while we're here. Okay. Wait, what? Oh! 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 Okay, uh, I- Yes, I'm supposed to have both of those activated and just send it? Okay. I really hope that the entire steeple isn't like this, because if it is, we're gonna be here a while. Okay. Okay, so the pink is the spawner. Purple's the, the morpher. Gotcha. That makes more sense now. Okay. What? I am so confused. Well, I clearly did something right. Take a shot every time I say I'm confused during this experience. Because <laughs> it's bound to happen many times. There's like a gel. Wow. To, to think that these. <clears throat> Here's another thing, by the way. Most of these steeples were done in like a month. Just think about that. Like, can you imagine the amount of work that had to be dedicated to try and get these done in like a month? Moving platform elevator, please wait. Verify that big of you don't call my bad. Don't call this bad rooting. Well, I already think floor one has some garbage rooting to begin with. <laughs> Why are there a whole bunch of orbs here? Cursed beginners. What? Cursed beginners that were that that were just accepted to our specific group. You have a Get a bullet of good enough size and good enough speed to not fall. What?
then where am I supposed to go? I clearly just accidentally did a massive skip. Okay, uh... Alright, tell me I'm not the only one that managed to pull something off like that. I can't be the only one that's done that. Awesome! It moves! My favorite! Okay, so I assume, I guess, I need to get a big bullet, like this blue one jump up. Okay, now this is starting to make a little more sense. There is a moving platform here, j player. Oh, 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 oh! That's a big one. And somehow this was done without CCOs? Because CCOs were forbidden. How? Oh, sea urchin? What's urchin doing here, huh? Oh, we are not close to the top. We're gonna be here a while. The music in this steeple is really quiet. Let me turn it up. Right now, the rooting seems to be way better, because I haven't had an issue getting confused for a little while now. Hopefully that remains that way. But, uh Awesome! Let's go! What a big shocker. There is not a new area release in Jato without a shutdown. Like, I'm just saying, it never happens. There is no such thing as a smooth Jato release. It just doesn't happen. What the f- Okay, I guess I was supposed to avoid that. That would make a little more sense now, would it? In my final Beginner's Guide video, I said I don't recommend beginners to play this. Oh, for God's sake. I said I don't recommend beginners to play Paradise Atoll because the areas would be hyper-modern and they would get a culture shock with all the new mechanics. I think that was the best decision because this staple is even confusing me. I can't imagine a newer JTO player trying to figure all this out. Is this Dark Souls? No, it's actually Terraria music? What? Sounded like Dark Souls to me. Clearly was wrong. Oh, for... That's what I get for being wrong. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for it to come back. I regret that decision. Alright, here is the... where I fell. So now we gotta be careful and make sure I don't do something stupid. There we go. Alright, so now we have to continue right. Whoa! You think this would be a spinner idea used already, but there isn't a spinner that I've seen that's like this. Really cool. The last night. Wait, what? Is there some sort of boss fight? No? Holy crap, guys! I think I can see the ceiling! Wait, whoa, whoa, what was that?! What are those beat blocks? They were beat blocks, weren't they? Yep! This is definitely not zone one. Whoa, 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 that's not cool. Those morphers are cool, but if you're starting out in this game, those beat blocks are really going to hurt. 
defeating Beat Block Berserk is definitely a, um, a very helpful section there. Wait, there's a button. Oh, this makes a little more sense now, doesn't it? It says left. No. Oh, God! What?! How does that work?! Okay, I don't know how I feel about that luck, and oh, God! Uh, 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 um, uh, 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 get down here. I need to heal. This time we are not going to die. And, well, here we are, at the top. Wait, what? Why is there two separate platforms? I feel like that's more gimmicky than anything. What? Oh my god! This is a really cool steeple, it's just... Ugh. Because of how frustrating it is. Because of the rooting and... That was my fault. I am just getting tired of this. I want to move on. Oh, there's the 45 minute warning. So we still got quite a bit of time. The four that is annoying me. I freaking hate that jump to shreds. That's like the third time in a row I failed that. Super lame jump. That's another one! That jump is super bad. Really lame head header that you can barely tell is actually really strict. Oh my god, dude! Okay. Finally! We have made it to the wind pad! Let's go! Wow! I do a hands a headstand. Let's go. God, that was one of the most atrocious steeples I have ever played through, but it was really good. It's just annoying. And I also got the lightning changer, so that's funny. All right, back here again. And every single time you beat something, you have to go on the ship again. Alright, the last steeple, Aquatic Rallies. Fren, Fran, and a bunch of other people. Oh god. Something tells me that this is not gonna be fun. There's just something that is telling me that you do not want to play this. Well, hopefully this should be at least better to understand because it's more simpler gameplay. Than, um, the previous steeple we did. Jesus Christ, that was annoying to figure out what I was supposed to do. Wait, are we already on floor two? Hopefully it remains this short all the way up. That would be cool. Nothing really to talk about this steeple so far because it's fairly simple, fairly straightforward, which is good. I like steeples like this. Although I will admit I'm not a fan of the Viper in colors. It looks really weird. Well, we're already at floor three and we're a minute 30 seconds in, so I assume this is going to be a shorter steeple, which is good. Wait, what? Oh, there's a truss here. Dull. Can you guys tell why I suck at sight reading towers? I always say I'm like the worst sight reader in the community, and... Well, I think you guys are seeing a great example as to why I practice pretty much everything. 
trust me, you'll really want to avoid the water balloons. Well, I did avoid the water balloons. The whole idea of the water, though, like the water slide looking thing, that's really cool. Uh, don't pop the precious water balloons, no! Oh crap, those are can't collide. True. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, man! That's the catch. If you mess up anywhere, you're practically forced to do the entire thing again. Oh, and to make matters worse, it looks like you had to reset, too. Because you get- at least where I was. Isn't that awesome? Let's go! I will say, so far of the three, this has the best gameplay. So that's something that's cool to admit, I guess. I am an intelligent human being. You know? Ah, man. I am just so smart. Wait, I just realized this entire island thing is part of the frame. What? What? I am just... People, I did not realize that, like, if you guys are this good at building stuff in a month, then how come the stuff in the zones aren't like this all the time? I would be scared to see what stuff would be like if all the zones had stuff like this. Why can't we have more sub realms, man? Because typically the content is just so good in them. Like, especially Paradise Atoll. Like, come on, man. Hopefully with the success of Paradise Atoll, the Jato team will go, yeah, maybe we should do more sub-realms, because I think they need- to, we need more sub-realms. What do you guys think? Should we get a, um... Get more sub-realms going for Jato? Because... This is just completely freaking awesome, and, well, here we are at Floor 4. That's great. First thing is a morpher that I have no idea. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's the morphed part. Press this, and you get your butt down here. Okay, good. I was hoping that I didn't need to do inputs while in the air, because if I had to, that would have been bad. The thing that impresses me the most is that even though that this is a huge mega collab, the, like, the steeple itself doesn't feel like that there what is like, a ton of builders. Like, it mainly just feels like one builder, which is just extremely impressive. And this seems like it's going to be a very cool mechanic. And then I slide down here, after the more- yep, jump over the water balloon. That's really cool! That's a really cool mechanic, I love that! Alright, here we are at the top, five. Here goes nothing. That's actually late. That's actually lame, because that's not well indicated. Are you serious? <sighs> Man, this is a... Why? Why is that there? That is so garbage. Well, now time to go ahead and play through the entire steeple again. <laughs> If this was like a challenging difficulty steeple, oh boy.
I could see myself getting really angry with this quick. <sighs> we're gonna be here a while. I can just tell that we're gonna be here a while. <sighs> All right. <laughs> I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna lie, that kind of made me jump. That absolutely caught me off guard. What? Today I am getting simultaneously the- being the luckiest guy, and the unluckiest person. Like... I don't understand! Are we at five again? Close, I know that much. Yep, here we are. Okay, five. This time we are not going to touch the beam and get ourselves launched out. Because that is kind of lame. I got ten seconds to go where? Well, clearly here. Good. Okay, low jump section or no jump section? No jump, okay. Well, that was lame. Oh, did we beat it? No, there- Oh, God, there's more! Uh Okay, here we are at six. The fun begins. Seems like we're nearing the end here. Hopefully we are. Because... I really do not want to lose my run to something dumb. And the longer I'm playing, the bigger of a chance that's gonna be. So I'm honestly a little scared that I'm gonna do something dumb and fall all the way down to the bottom. What? Oh, it wants me to go back down again? Okay, whatever. I press the button. That's all done. Now where am I supposed to go? I guess this way? Um, okay. Oh god, that almost caught me off guard. Okay, I think I'm gonna just beat it. Nice! Are you ready to go down? There's there's a big queue of people eager to take this slide. Oh my god. <laughs> so be careful to not bump each other on the way down. Alright, let's go! Woo! Baby! Let's go! Nice! That is cool! That is awesome! Oh my god, that is like the best. That is probably my new favorite. I think Vent Trauma has been dethroned. That was so fun. The gameplay was satisfying. It was unique. And then the ending is so cool. That was such a great staple. I love it. God, that was awesome. Wow. I am just in bewilderment. Okay, well... That's gonna be the beginner... ...stuff down, which marks the end of this episode, I believe. Let me just double check. Yeah, that will be all of the beginner steeples all done! Okay, so we've uh, completed everything, so next episode we got... ...Sunny Island Shenanigans... 
Desolate Isles, Hallucinary Spectacles, and then we're on to the Advanced Steeples. Okay! But wait a minute, that's nine steeples. Where's the last one? Alright, I don't know. Let's head over to the map and, uh... Go ahead and take a look, because there's... I want to go ahead and explore the island a little bit, and then we'll end off the episode. Alright, so let's head over to the, uh... The Lush Cove. Where the credits are. And take a look around there. Oh, wow! This is a cool way to go ahead and, uh... Acknowledge the bug testers. Psychotic built the lobby? Isaac, too? Wow! Skittles, too? Wow! And of course, Urchin. I didn't realize Isaac was part of this. Oh, I guess one of the person's cats passed away. That's sad. Whoever's cat that is. Sorry, man. The next thing I want to do is I actually want to head over here to where the psychologically unsafe stuff is, because I believe that's where the practice obby is. And there's something there. There's a reason why I want to go in there, so. Alright, so here's our two towers. Traversing the tropics and um, cyclonic isles. What is this? Practice obby, here we go. So I heard that apparently that this practice obby is supposed to give an item. We're gonna test that and see if that's true. How long, oh, this practice obby is literally a piece of cake, okay. There we go, I did the practice of it. Well, I don't know if those claims were true. But I guess we'll have to find out. Oh, and there is the last steeple, S-O-U-B. Okay, well! I think we're gonna end it off here, so what an amazing area. All three of the steeples were good. SOEU, it was annoying. I'm gonna be blunt and say it was just annoying, but it was still good. It was just very difficult for me to understand. Very great jump start to my adventures here. Wow, what an amazing, just amazing area. Makes me wish that Jato did more sub rounds because I feel like sub rounds, the modern day building and stuff like that, it would be just awesome. It would be so cool to see stuff like this in the uh, spatial system more. Like, could you imagine like a moon area like this? Just, ugh, I cannot imagine, so. First three steeples down. Next episode, we're going to be completing the three difficult steeples. So D, so sis, and so hiss. Uh, I don't know. So yeah. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.